Hey, what's going on y'all? VNNCC3 here, and welcome back to a new Magic Arena video. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be entering a competitive constructed league with this blue storm deck that I put together. The complete deck list will be in the description below, with a link to Aether Hub, as well as a typed up list so that you can highlight it, copy it, and directly import it into Magic Arena. And before we get into any serious gameplay, let's go over this particular list just a smidge because it's not your typical run-of-the-mill Blue Storm deck you'll see being played. So there's a few changes I made. Players will either play with Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot or Navigator's Compass. Both have their pros and their cons. I decided to go with Fountain of Renewal. And the biggest reason I went with this card over either of the other one is because this deck has a real serious problem against control players. It really, really does. Um, because a lot of the times in Magic Arena, uh, control players are going way overboard with the counter spells. They've got, you know, four disallows. They've got three negates, three syncopates. And I'm talking, this is like Esper control or something like that, right? They've got so many different counter spells. So it's really, really hard to... Um, resolve cards like Aetherflux Reservoir uh, while still getting at 50 life and resolving all of these other cards that allow you to draw cards or whatever the case is. So, Fountain of Renewal kind of helps you get there. Also, against aggressive decks, Fountain of Renewal isn't exactly as good as Navigator's Compass, but you don't got to worry about gaining that one additional life at the beginning of your upkeep. Like I said, it's a really good card in my opinion. That's why I'm playing with it. There's also one copy of the Antiquities of War uh, because I find sometimes that my opponent has just too much removal and I simply I slam aside and then it just dies immediately. Like, it just dies. So, um, the Antiquities Antiquities of War allows me to kind of get in there and kind of cheese my opponent out. This is also good against other control players, or I shouldn't say other, but it's good against control players because sometimes they're just full of essence scatters. Like I said, in Magic Arena, players are just playing way too many counter spells and they die to things on the board more than you would imagine. So this allows you to get in um, and basically just swing for lethal all in one turn, basically, right? So aside from that, it's got 19 lands, all that good stuff. The sideboard is a little spicy but we'll go ahead and look at that into the gameplay uh, speaking of which let's go ahead and dive into some right oh, can't even talk today all right so here we go what do we got here i mean i guess that's okay we'll take it right we get we can at least draw three cards so we'll keep it hey, hello not very good against a chain whirler deck or a rushdown deck but we'll see Yeah, we'll play out our hand right now. If my opponent wishes to play like a Bulmot Courier, I'll be able to just block it. If they want to shock, that's fine too. It just doesn't go to my face. We'll see. I can't drink this coffee fast enough though is what it feels like. Yeah, Mountain. Probably a Bulmot Courier or a shock. Turn two, draw three is really good. This Fountain of Renewal is going to... A lot of value. That's all I'm going to say about that. A lot of value. So my opponent's grinding with a red deck wins. That's... Not bad. I, I, I wouldn't have done that, though. Like, the fact that the Ornithopter is there is fine. But, I mean, I guess to squeeze some damage in... Let's go boom and boom. Prophetic Prism, draw a card. Just not a land. Inspiring Saturation, not bad. There we go. Fount Fountain of Renewal. Fountain of Thine Renewal. It's not bad. We're not getting any card draw, right? We're not draw we're not drawing any any answers. If we drew a sigh, it'd be so good, but my opponent's literally, it looks like it to be on like a red deck wins plan, so. And if that's the case, um, we've got stuff for this deck. I hate the fact that it asks me every single turn. We're gonna, we're gonna use this Renegade map now. I mean, if we get a Paradoxal Outcome, it's kind of worse, but... I would rather make sure that I don't draw. I have like a less chance of drawing a land than anything else. So I'll play our land that they know about. We'll play the Inspiring Statuary. 
And then we'll play the other Fountain of Renewal. Yep. Yep. Sure strike? Okay, that's that's a little awkward. I'm, I'm wondering where this is going to go here, right? So, 8, 9, we're going to go to 4. Go back up 2, so we're at 6. If we draw a side, we're not exactly super dead, but we're, we're getting pretty close. Yeah. I think we need to draw a side, to be honest with you, if we're going to want to live through this. Paradoxal? How, what does that do for me exactly, right? One. Bringing back Mox Amber. Yeah, we need all the cards we can get here. Improvise, improvise. Uh, improvise, sure. We'll draw four. Oh, wow. We got literally no help. Like, at all. That sucks, man. We can tap one more. Two, three, five, six. So we, we're going to have to bump up this Goblin Chain Whirler if we're going to live past this turn. Yeah, that paradoxical did <laughs> didn't help the slightest little bit. That sucks. It really does, man. It feels bad. It really does. But we'll see. If my opponent goes combat here, then we have a chance to live. Nope. They just had it the entire time. All right, we'll concede. All right, so. Arms are really good against this deck. They really, they really are. So we're going to take out... Uh, Raw's expertise isn't bad either. The Antiquities of War. I'm not going to put in any negates and things like that. I feel like that's just a waste of time. The rest of it's pretty okay. Cards are really good against, the, against red deck wins. Especially when you have artifacts out in play. Because the constructs are just so huge. The fact that we just didn't gain enough life, I mean, I guess that's where the Navigating Compass is a lot better, right? Because we put them back, we put, we played them for six, bump it back up to our hand, and then play them again for six more. That's when it becomes infinitely better, but uh, we'll see. We'll keep this. We could really use a Sigh in our hand. I know if we got a Sigh in the opener, we'd be like at a much higher percent to win. Here's the question. Do I need that land? I don't think I do. We'll ship it. I know that draw a Karn, to be honest with you. Yeah, we'll go. We'll, we'll play this. I want to. I want to get further into my deck. We could go Fountain of Renewal as well, um, and just go up more life. Antiflex Reservoir is really good as well. So hopefully we get to keep the cards that we're we're playing in play. Wizard's Lightning, sure. Wizard's Lightning again. My opponent's trying to end the game as fast as possible. Yeah, we'll go up to life. Flame of Keld? What does he have? Like an all land hand? Yep, it was all lands. That's crazy. All right, let's draw. Island's not bad. 
I don't see us dying next turn, but so I'm gonna go ahead and cast Aetherfex Reservoir now. Like this would have to be a really particular set of cards to kill me downright in this turn. And this isn't getting the job done. And now the fact that we have Aetherflex Reservoir in play, we're just gonna gain life, like a bunch of it. Oh my gosh, my eyeball. We'll go up two life. Give me a side. That'd be really good. Ornithopter is pretty good here too, actually. So I'll go one. Fountain of Renewal. Yep. I'm going to go Ornithopter. Paradoxal. One, two, three. Because we can recast these right here, right? So that's why we're going to only draw three. One. Two. Three? Sure. Go up a bunch of life. We're looking for a commit. That'd be really nice, actually. You ask and you shall receive. Outstanding. All right. So we're going to go one... We could go Karn as well. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I only see myself taking a maximum of seventeen damage this turn. So maybe the correct play is to go Karn. One, two, three. Yeah, I think the correct play is to go, Karn. Because we're going to gain more life here. My opponent should just concede, to be honest with you. But I feel like they think they have a shot. Because, But I'm still at such a high life. Yep. This should buy the concession. Me playing Karn like this. Such power when it comes down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Say hello to my little friend. Yeah, I see us taking 17 points of damage at the most, right? Because this is right here. It says two points of damage to permit instead. I would have casted the wizard's lightning. Are you serious? If you're trying to build a plan to win, I mean, first thing to do is to cast the wizard's lightning. What? Right, I'm just going to run it back. We haven't seen a side game one or game two, and my opponent's on the play this turn. So, Navigating Compass, this is where I can see Navigating Compass being a lot better. I think it's Navigating Compass, right? I think I'm about to correct myself on that one. Probably a Snap Keep is what my guess is. Nope. Uh, this is a Snap Keep for me, two Fountains. Fountain of Renewals is what's going to help me get past the first not die in turn two or three or whatever it is, right? It's kind of a risky keep, but I feel like I feel like we've got a third land if we get like a sigh or something like that, right? Oh wow. My opponent just didn't have a land. That's crazy. Yeah, we'll play out our hand. So my opponent's on a one lander right now. Attacks, I'm gonna block. Yep. A second commit, the one. I'll try, I turn off auto tap. We're getting two life a turn now. We're trying to make sure that we're out of we're, we're we're trying to make sure that we're at such a high range of life that we'll have time to set up, right? That's why these fountain of renewals are gonna be at least pretty decent. Using a shock like that is really aggressive in my opinion. To push damage through, you're only pushing one damage through, so 
Is it really worth it? I don't know. We'll see. Ty is amazing! Hours pass. So, I'm gonna commit this Balmot Courier, because it's the only thing that my opponent's got going on. Blashing a Pyromancer? Nope, carries Ev. I'm gonna commit this Balmot Courier because I don't want my opponent having two, three, four, and five, and six cards in their hand. But we'll see. We'll play uh, we'll play Psy first, and then we'll see if my opponent's got something so deadly that I absolutely need to do it. Yeah, we'll draw. Playing Psy with no artifacts to cast is kind of... Kind of... But... If my opponent's going to deal with this, they've got to burn through cards, right? Two for one minimum. Two for one minimum. If they go Bomak Courier plus carry Zev attack, I block the Bomak Courier. Yeah, sure. No blocks. That's fine. Sure. My opponent's most likely got, uh, like, a shock or a lightning strike or just something in their hand that they would like to get out. And I'm just not in the mood of letting them have it, right? So, not until I have commit back up. Draw. All right, we're drawing big. To a land. Is that, we're, drawing to a, we're drawing to a big land. It's exactly what we're going to be drawing to. Uh, yeah, sure. End turn. Maybe my opponent fires off some burn. If so, I'm going to go Bulmac Courier. GG. Or maybe they tap out. <laughs> Blowout! <laughs> Watch this. Go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. We'll, we'll let the effect happen. We'll let the effect happen. Look at all of this burn, Scoobs. Yeah, Kyrie's has a free attack here. Watch. Well, my courier goes on top. That resolves. We'll block. We'll block the monkey. We'll take one. And then we're gonna go ahead and commit their flame of Keld. Wow. So fortunate. That's all I'm going to say about that. Super fortunate. Cool beans, daddy -o. We're going to make a Thopter. We get some attack and force going on now, right? Right? One, two, three, four. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. Sure, you could have a Skull Scar Mage. No blocks. No blocks. No blocks. It can resolve. No blocks. I'll, I'll damage race you. Seems really good. I got a Thopter. Let's go no attacks here. We'll end the turn. My opponent's gonna go attack, Soul Scar Mage, right? They're gonna play their Flame of Keld. Obviously discard their hand, that's fine. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna triple block the Carry Zed, because they can only kill one of my Thopters, right? Yeah. Monkey comes down, that's fine. Block. Seems good. Now, they had some combat tricks. This is when I could sack the tokens, but they don't.
Priority, my good sir. Priority. Uh, yeah. My turn. Priorities. You should have killed a Thopter. My bad. That was a bad block by me. It really was. Actually. Let me think about this, right? Look at the Renegade maps. I don't need them. Draw a card. Island. Play it. I kind of want to have a blocker for this bone mat carrier, but I guess I do have one, so... I'll draw two cards. Resolves. Double spells? Sure. Two for one yourself? That is fine with me. Big two for one? Uh. One and. If I draw a paradoxal. You know what? Never mind. I'm just gonna let it happen. I'm just gonna let it happen. There's no, there's no point in me trying to play around it. Sure, you can get in for three points of damage. I'm not going to block it. Paradox will let me draw a lot of cards, so I'm just, it's not worth it to me. Another commit is pretty darn good here, to be honest with you. All right, this stops a lot of the shenanigans from happening. We just like one for seven to our opponent, so it's pretty good. Yep. Yeah, we'll let him have it. I'm not going to do anything to these guys. I'm just going to go ahead and put uh, hit enter to pass priority all the way through. Actually, hold on. I am going to block so I don't have to take the additional damage, the one damage. Yep. Up to life, draw. Another Renegade map. Don't need them, but to play with them, to play with them. Alright, we're going to race our opponent, basically. I know, we're racing the red deck. We have a commit in our hand, uh, in case anything just bad happens. There's no reason for my opponent to use their ball mat courier right now. There's no reason. Sure. Yeah, sure. The, I, I have no idea what my opponent's really doing right now. Uh, Doing more damage to me is not going to really rid him the raise. As long if it's not a creature based damage, right? If it's not creature based damage, it's not gonna help him. Two so we're taking two damage a turn, he's taking three. Yeah, sure. I'm saving this commit for anything bad. I mean Yeah, pull it back to fourteen. I have six mana, so I can only cast four of these. So I'm actually going to use my Renegade map now. Or I'm going to use it this turn, actually before my draw. Just to thin out my deck. I, I need, I don't need another land. I need like a Paradoxal. I need uh, Brawl's Expertise. I need other cards like that. Or a Karn is really amazing. Karn's really good. I will 
Now this also taps for mana, which is really good too. Awaken. All right, I think we just got our uh, five and zero right here. It only took us, you know, two or three hours to do. Yep, sure. That's a good game. I think my opponent should know that by now. It's a good game. They fought valiantly. But the risky run with um with that low of lands and these kinds of decks is just that. It's a lot of risk. So I wanted to to get the big camera up right here. So oh yeah, by the way, look at this. Ah. My superheroes. I've got the uh, entire Justice League on my back. All right, so we got five and oh, see this zero losses. Blue Storm. Uh, if I wanted to change three cards in this deck, it would be the reverse engineering. I just feel like they could be better cards. I don't know what I would put in place of them, but I would put something else. I just don't know what as of right now. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let's go ahead and claim our prizes. Ooh, okay, we'll go... Let's go, let's go right. Admiral Beckett Brad. Does anybody even play this card? It seems like a really bad card for four mana. And it's legendary, Ugh. All right, give me something else. That's not bad. And the rare. This card doesn't seem bad at all, right? When it attacks and isn't blocked, you may cast an instant or sorcery card from your hand without paying its mana cost. That makes this card pretty insane, especially if you're doing like an hour of devastation type of thing. But anyways, look, tell what I'm talking about though, right? Love peace and chicken grease. Be safe. Thanks for stopping by. Let's spend some of your quality and and uh, yeah, play Nicol Bolas over this and stay classy.